Now, our next speaker is Eric Chen, co-founder of Injective Labs. Eric, welcome. That's the first time I watched that video, honestly. Right. Hey guys, this is Eric, a co-founder and CEO of uh, Injective Labs. We're core contributors to Injective Blockchain. And today, I'll walk you guys through a short overview of Injective and how we're pioneering a new age of uh, connected finance. So Injective is the blockchain bill for finance. Um, but let's take a trip down memory lane and how we got here. Initially, we set out to create a fully decentralized exchange. Um, no decentralized uh, order book exchange existed back in the day, so I also wanted to create a solution to a pressing need that I wanted to uh, address firsthand. Coming from kind of like a cryptography and also finance background, this is a very natural first step uh, in combining two of my own personal passions. So when my co-founder Albert Chan and I tried to create this uh, ideal solution and what we envisioned, we get, began by experimenting, like most developers, on Ethereum. But why, why didn't that work? So as of early 2018 or so, we've already noticed uh, some of the initial hazards of front-running and MBV. And back then, there were initial papers published around it where researchers have heavily capitalized, uh, capitalized on it before it turned into a multi-hundred million dollar industry. And more importantly, it's also very infeasible to implement an on-chain order book simply due to the cost of placing and canceling orders. And especially, and even in a generalized environment, the cost has to be both low and consistent to prevent the economic issues uh, when it comes to uh, market making. Now, obviously, off-chain order book prevent, uh, would, would uh, address this issue very easily, but at the end of the day, it still prevents composability and compromise one of the most critical advantages of DeFi over CeFi. And obviously, there are L2 solutions, which is a slight step up from the composability issue, but faces pretty much the identical problem as building on top of a generalized environment where gas economy is essentially shared with all types of applications. So during our long search, we kind of found a promised land of uh, Tendermint and Cosmos. So Cosmos allows for high levels of uh, customizability and also performance upgrades. And in addition, we saw uh, very early on the great promise uh, of the ecosystem as a whole as it tries to bring about a tightly connected uh, network of blockchains. And this ultimately led us to create an app-specific blockchain for decentralized finance. And by being an app-specific blockchain, it has a few very easy and uh, addressable properties. It prevents front running right off the bat and also all MEV related issues. It has a very robust and tightly aligned governance around the community that's focused around DeFi. It's also right off the bat highly scalable and secure with optionality and path to expand for the next billion users. And on top of that, and most important for traders is that there's execution stability and safety 
And with all that in mind, it led us to create one of the marquee dApps built on top of Injective, which is Helix. So it originally launched under a different name. Helix is one of the first on-chain order book exchange to also enable derivatives trading. It's really important and revolutionary, uh, re revolutionary being the first cross-chain derivatives enable order book platform where users can leverage the best of DeFi and CeFi. And more importantly, all of the features and bells and whistles of CeFi, like conditional stop loss, take profit orders, limit orders, spot markets, perpetual markets, expired futures, binary options, uh, are all offered on top of Helix. And another really interesting part is that all, those are not offered by CFI, like very exotic and interesting derivatives using price feed that are sent from IBC are also possible. And all of the things that are offered by Helix are only possible by building on top of an app-specific blockchain like Injective. And obviously the success of uh, in, uh, Helix has really translated over to the success of Injective as an ecosystem and as a blockchain. It has really far surpassed a number of industry benchmarks and since launch of the last Cosmos First conference, um, Injective has exceeded 108 million transactions. Uh, it's, you know, for context, this is more transactions than a lot of popular chains today. $7.3 billion in cumulative trading volume, zero network downtime, and 150K uh, community members slash ninjas all over the world. And as Injective continue to, uh, to grow, uh, the scope of Injective and what it's looking to offer also grows as a result. And this is very much in line with what we initially envisioned for the ecosystem of Injective. It began to grow beyond just providing solutions for one application, but began to providing solutions for an entire sector. What we ended up building was not only for one of the fastest growing exchange apps on the market, but also a set of very robust and composable financial primitives that can be used to create a whole host of very powerful interchain applications. Uh, now we're looking into the future and working towards creating one of the best sector specific blockchain for finance. But uh, what, what does that even mean? Um, and, that basically means that Injective provides developer with a set of very powerful and a set of very uh, shared and composable on-chain financial primitives that are not found elsewhere. Obviously, for start, there are on-chain order book, derivatives, binary options, and much more. You can combine these primitives together in order to build a truly innovative financial applications that would not be possible anywhere else. And on top of that, it takes a step further by also enabling developers to utilize some of the best products on chain. Um, there's obviously an innovative develop, uh, explorer and also an injective hub, which gives you direct access to features like wallet, staking, and also governance. And there's also a very unique cross-chain bridge, which we'll get to that later. Uh, and of course, there's much, much more to come. Another really important philosophy of the injective ecosystem is that every new innovation for a chain is always built for the unaddressed needs and wants of DeFi developers. Whether they're unsatisfied or constrained in a generalized environment, or they're facing issues or have a certain idea that cannot be implemented uh, in anywhere else. For example, interoperability for us is at the core of every single product and application. Uh, the ability for the users to utilize any type of asset and to enjoy true composability across chain is very, very important. And Injective as a blockchain is perhaps one of the most uh, interoperable blockchains out there. Uh, first of all, of course, we're IBC enabled, which allows you to access chains such as Osmosis and Junos with ease. And you know, down the road, also compose and build atomic uh, uh, applications on top of it. We've also built one of the first bridges uh, to Ethereum and became the first Cosmos enabled chain to have MetaMask com uh, compatibility, which is a major gateway to onboard Ethereum users. And since then, we've also added access to new chains such as Polkadot through a bridge to the Moonbeam parachain. And with our upcoming integration with Wormhole, we will also allow access to a number of EVM chains such as Polygon and non-EVM chains such as Solana for the first time ever. Interoperability for us is not just for assets, but also data as shown by our very novel Oracle module, which brings price feed natively via the, uh, uh, from the IBC world. And as a result, Injective uh, to this day is still one of the most uh, active IBC zones out there based on transfer activity. 
our work with interoperability is not only a major paradigm shift for Cosmos native users, but for crypto user as a whole to demonstrate the value and benefits of having an interconnected ecosystem. Of course, all of our work and gateways have led to uh, far more interest from some of the largest financial institutions. In fact, um, to date, Injective uh, has received backing of nearly uh, $60 million from some of the leading institutions in the space who are aligned with our vision to creating a truly free and decentralized financial system. But we're not going to stop there. We're continuing to push out new innovations and new products and new features, and one of the biggest is our new Cosmosm smart contract layer, which allows for a range of new application to finally be built on top of Injective. Injective's Cosmosm implementation is uniquely different um, because it allows Injective to be one of the only blockchain capable of supporting automated, uh, uh, automated executing smart contracts. And with the primitives coupled with the Cosmosm smart contracts, it allows for a number of new applications and new paradigms to be built. For example, FrontRunner, which is a really innovative, decentralized sports betting platform, it utilizes the binary options primitive, uh, the order book uh, primitive, uh, the Oracle module, and many more. And new projects has been continuously entering the ecosystem through DAO governed proposals, as have uh, projects like Aperture has recently done. But not only new projects are building, the Injective Labs is also building as well to focus on a particular issue when it comes to mass adoption into DeFi. We understood and we've witnessed too much of the pain points of DeFi developers and decided to develop primitives and features like automated smart contracts to make it easier for them to build. And this also allows for Project X to be built. And for the first time ever, I'm excited to introduce Project X. There it is. What is this Project X? All right, so what's Project X? So Project X really revol uh, revolutionizes the way in which both users and developers access finance to bring true mass adoption. It's a combination of strategy vaults for passive yield generation, um, AMMs with uh, no impermanent loss risk, and interestingly, a one-click launchpad. We've been working on this for the better half of the past year and built all the fundamental primitives that leads up to Project X. And for the first time, it's being presented to the end user. The secret code name is Project X, but whoever can guess the final name of uh, what this project will end up being will get a, a special prize. And for context, so traditionally, institutions and hedge funds pour billions of dollars into creating the most advanced quantitative financial modeling uh, to generate you know, insane rates of returns. But these type of returns are generally not accessible by uh, you know, the general public. And it's because it's for a good reason. You know, some of them are risky. Some of them um, are way too advanced where you know, sharing with, with other people with all those alpha, it probably doesn't even make sense. But one of the biggest innovations in DeFi is really to democratizing the access to these strategies and market making. And to really in ensure that everyone has a chance to provide liquidity, everyone has a chance to bootstrap and to generate liquidity, and everyone has a chance to access and deploy strategies. But the problem is that you know, smart, sustainable strategies are really hard. Um, these you know, AMM and uh, different types of on-chain strategies are extremely simple and extremely easy to be taken advantage of. AMM does lower the barrier to create and access liquidity, but they're riddled with impermanent loss, you know, and also 10 to 1,000 X lower in capital efficiency. And overall, this is obviously bad for not only the LP, but also new projects where they need to put up a large amount of asset. And it's also bad for traders since the fees and slippage are higher. And it's for a good reason, and there's a reason why this is a consistent problem. It's because sophisticated on-chain strategies are extremely difficult to implement in any generalized environment. There's so much computation and access to data that's required to make sure that these state-of-the-art institutional models are applicable. Now, even let's say you're just someone who already knows how to operate a trading bot and has been you know, leveraging or capitalizing on on-chain strategies like arbitrage and et cetera. Um, it still requires a lot of active management 
a lot of uh, execution and networking risk, and probably years of quantitative background to understand what the hell is going on within, uh, within those mo uh, models. And honestly, sometimes people might just be lazy and you just want to leave it and forget like all automated strategies. But with these trade-offs in mind, the purpose of innovation is to alleviate them and remove them completely. And that's why we built this. Project X basically uh, democratizes the creation and access of smart and sustainable strategies. And in the fundamental layer, it can do anything. It utilizes an auto-executing smart contract mechanism, a uh, COSM WASM layer that's well integrated into the exchange module, and an optional Oracle module integration for extra market signals. It brings the sophisticated uh, technology used by Wall Street to a decentralized and permissionless network. And the first strategy we built on top of uh, Project X is a very, very exciting one. Now, for context, a lot of uh, folks at Injective Labs used to be quant traders. And trust me when I say this, we had so much fun doing it. Uh, we work with quantitative researchers from some of the largest institutions out there and develop a new market-making model tailored for launching order books that can be used in any market. And for those who are interested, there are a lot more academic works to follow that formalizes this. Um, but for due to time constraint and um, uh, due to you know just the depth of it, let's take a look and check out like what the users care about. So in this interface, you're going to see. Project X will mainly work in two parts. It first creates um, automated trading vaults that allowed uh, end users to pull liquidity together and take advantage of trading strategies that are previously impossible or inaccessible. And there will be multiple strategy vaults with an uh, associated on-chain strategy. And each strategy will be executed through the Cosmosm smart contract. Now, as you can see, there are a lot of you know, different names. Uh, a lot of them are quirky. This one is called Nebula. And um, it basically is a uh, automated market making strategy using some of the uh, uh, current models to market make for the perpetual market of BTC USDT. And as you can see, it's just one click and you're done. Now, these base level models are all submitted through governance and can be utilized for any type of market, whether that be spot and perpetual that exists on the injective ecosystem. Um, these vaults will change the way that end users can utilize the DeFi primitives because it takes market making to the next level and allows general uh, users to really level the playing field against institutions by accessing the same technology. And obviously, over time, it will truly benefit the entirety of DeFi for really expanding the offering. And the second portion of Project X is something I'm incredibly excited about because it's essentially utilizing the same model and underlying primitive, but giving it a different twist and a different uh, application for it uh, from the end user's perspective. So Project X will also include a launch pad, which uh, allows any developer to launch tokens permissionlessly in one click. Now, all you need to do is to specify the token DNOM, and for this case, let's say we're launching a token called Project Protocol. And there are some parameters to set up. Obviously, in this case, there are also different ways to offer out a token. Um, most people might be familiar with uh, the Dutch auction mechanism, which is used by most DeFi platforms. But that's boring. Let's look at direct listing. And there could be like optional fields for people to discover and explore these uh, 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 launches on chain. And within a few clicks, you basically get to initiate and st launch a token. From end user's perspective, you can access all of these things uh, all in one place, and it essentially allows you to kind of exp explore and access it all in just another simple click. So the beauty of this is that all these apps are interlinked. So once you know, the project token is launched here, it can be accessed in exchange apps like Helix. And also one of the most interesting mechanisms here that I'm gonna get into is a direct listing mechanism. So let's jump to the Helix interface and why direct listing is such a huge paradigm shift. So previously, direct listing or launching a uh, token like how Coinbase, et cetera, uh, did it is impossible in DeFi. And obviously now with the enablement of Project X and the model that kind of supports it, um, no longer will projects have to spend months and months working with market makers, spending millions, uh, providing liquidity and integrating with exchanges. And all this is basically just done in one click. Let's uh, see a simulation of uh, direct listing from the beginning because this is obviously testnet. 
So the vote is initially um, uh, created with uh, only 500k in project token balance. So as you can see, initially the order book only has ass orders. But over time, obviously, as the market opens, as the activity starts, um, that's when you know, all the bids start uh, coming in. And one of the most fascinating parts is that it's kind of like a leave it and forget uh, uh, launch. Because essentially, it'll sell the project token slowly and turn it into a standard market making vault. And as a matter of fact, because it's selling it over time in a fair basis, it allows for proper price discovery and figure out the best possible uh, uh, offering price. Let the market decide the offering price. So let's see right now the price went up from $1 to you know, 1.9, which is you know, crazy. But even during this extremely volatile time, the 2% slippage is maintained at roughly, let's say 20,000 20, or so. And a quick math shows that you basically need $2 million uh, in two-sided liquidity on AMM to kind of show the same uh, level of liquidity. But on Project X, you save all that USDT that was probably really, really hard to get. And um, you know, 2.2 X uh, in project token to achieve the exact same level of liquidity. That's not even mentioning right around here when um, the volatility kind of tapers over time and the liquidity thicks, uh, thickens to uh, $50,000 within 2% slippage. Now you're looking at you know, 10x more capital efficiency with uh, $5 million in liquidity pool for AMM to even like, match that. So to summarize, um, this process can achieve at least 10x capital efficiency, more efficient price discovery, and save millions for projects and participants alike. And here's the amazing part. Um, all dApps in the ecosystem can leverage the same primitive of uh, Project X and build exciting and new innovations on top of DeFi. And as a matter of fact, there are already a few uh, new exciting projects that are joining the injective ecosystem for Project X at the start. Now, it'll be a secret as to know who, uh, who they are. Um, too much alpha, I guess. And it overall, uh, as a primitive, takes DeFi to a whole new level by basically bringing Wall Street technologies to everyone. So Project S is already being used internally and a beta version will be released pretty soon. Um, overall, I just wanted to take a chance to say that Injective's entire mission is to pioneer a new era of finance. And I'm beyond excited to kind of share with you guys uh, some of the other innovations we've been working on. And there are a number of also groundbreaking projects that are currently building on top of Injective uh, and uh, integrating with the ecosystem, which I can't disclose for now. Um, otherwise, you know, marketing will kill me. Um, and since you know, this is a lot of alpha, let's save it for another time. But just so you know that um, it'll fundamentally reshape how the DeFi landscape and how crypto works as a whole. And if you guys uh, resonate with this, please join our team. Injective Labs is always hiring. And please make sure to follow us and keep up to date with the latest updates on uh, Twitter.